it's a review guy coming back at you here with another review video and you might be wondering who the heck is this guy well we've got something special for you today this is the muffin man alex we are part of a disc golf golf team excuse me called team cuddle muffins as you can see there if you want to see the first round of this what we are about to do i want you to head over to alex's channel team cuddle muffins and see that this is actually a redemption round all right let's hit it so for those of you that play disc golf, you may be familiar with Joe Mess Pro. It's kind of like a horse game that they play on his channel. Well, I'm putting my own spin on it as a review guy, and we're gonna play a game kind of like horse called Reviews. Each person gets to throw a disc twice, and if you make both of them, the other person has to make both of them. If you miss one, then you get a letter. If you miss two, you get two letters, so forth and so on. So me and my buddy, Mr. Muffin Man, Alex, are gonna show you how it's done. All right, so what we got here is we're gonna do a triple mando. So through here, under, so basically straight through the gap. Uh, for those wondering, I, with, uh, if you're a disc golf fan, what I'm putting with, I'm using both an NB and a Nomad, both James Conrad series. Um, the NB, of course, is a little more stable than the Nomad, which has a very neutral flight. But um, I just wanted a little something so we can get a little bit more trick shot ideals. So here we go. So, that worked out. All right. so I am throwing a PA3 Prodigy for those of you that are familiar with disc golf. If not, I'm not even gonna tell you all about it. I'm just gonna tell you to pick up one of these and throw it and see how you feel. That's my review for you today. It's clean and simple, right? These people are like this video. Anyway, here we go. Oh. Oh. Aaron's denting up my house. That's RE for Aaron just because of that. So that right there earned Alex an R and I am still in the clear. Disc golf basket is still back there in the background. Let's figure out where we're gonna throw next. Aaron hitting us with that mandatory straddle putt. Ooh, almost with the backboard. Ooh, and right off the band. All right. There we go. Here goes Alex on his attempt. Hopefully I don't get any letters. So after that, we are both at ours. No, I'm not a pirate. Well, in the last video we did this play too, it is a mandatory kneel down. The, your foot has to be by this disc that I have set up. Uh, and it is a mandatory forehand throw. Oh man, this is uh this is a tough one for me. So after my smoke detector pierced our ears, Aaron's up. Woo! <laughs> We're breaking things all over. Ding! Oh, that was oh. Sick. well. Tied game still. Aaron is, even though it's not necessarily Mando, Aaron is basically forcing a loft putt because of the box sitting in front of the basket. So we'll see how this goes. Okay. Well, for you anyways, we'll see what I can do. on top uh, of the basket. Nice. So with the loft putt, what's that? I can tell I made that correction. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, with the loft putt there, uh, that puts me at RE. Alex is still at R. And no, we are not pirates. What you got in mind here, buddy? Alex is just trying to find a spot for his next throw. Right here, um, Anheuser is the Android. All right. So if you don't know what Anheuser is, off of the backhand, I'm gonna be pointed like this, like this. Oh, and, and Android around this pole. That pole there. All right. Nice, that's gonna be tough. All right, turning the cam over to Alex, and here I go. Oh, so you said a mandatory Anheuser around the left side of this pole? Yes. Okay, step out, cradle, or a straddle, or? I didn't specify, so you're good for whatever. Oh. I should have specified, dang. Well, as you can see, Alex's disc landed right here after he threw the previous shot. And so he called a comeback rule and a comeback rule is in effect. Alex, explain to them what a comeback rule is. Basically, if it's like not exactly a tap in shot, not just like an absolute gimme, you gotta take the comeback by, this is where my comeback is gonna be from since this is where it landed. And if I don't make this, I can do a letter. Alex made it, so he is safe from getting a letter. Now, I know you guys probably can't tell just from the video, but that putt was actually probably a good 20 feet out or so. So, good job. Turns feeling like relaxing for this shot, so literally it's just a shot from the couch. Shot from the couch. Oh! Try to put a little hyzer on it, look what happened. All right. Ah. Too easy, too easy. I gave that to him. After that shot, I'm at REV and Alex where are you at again? R. 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 And we're still at Pirates. Alex is actually on the stairs here. This is the worst stagger. Got you. Oh! I'm falling right off the van. Maybe. Woo! All right, my turn. R-E-V-I for Aaron. You made one? Yep. Oh, no. Yep, I backordered my Nomad. All right. So this is going to be a mandatory straddle. And not only that, no backboards, okay? So that means you can't have any wood in the back and bounce in. It's gotta be straight chains, straight basket, whatever. It's gotta go in without hitting the wood in the background. Let's go. And let's see. And. Oh. Oh. Ah! Well, after that, I am at R E V I E. I've got two letters left. Alex is still at R. And we're still not pirates. Seven out. Well, basically, that's all your only option here because the stagger pup won't work here. But, um, yep, just basically out and at it. And. 
I hope my height advantage works here. Alex is about what? 5'7? 5'8. 5'8. And I am 6'2, uh, 6'1. Six six and, and keep in mind, Aaron needs to make both of these. Well, one of these actually. Oh. And you Aaron, my no do you want, do you want to, you, you, I'll, I'll allow retake, I'll allow redo. How about a redo of just one disc? Okay. It's a make or break. So, since I was talking through Aaron's putt, Aaron gets, and that would have been game, Aaron needs to, and Aaron, if you make this putt, I'll give you back the both letters that you lost. All right. That's it. That's it. Well, thanks for playing reviews with a review guy. I hope that you, if you're interested in disc golf, you go try it out. It's really cheap, actually, to start out. Maybe about 30 bucks or so. Get yourself a couple discs. Head out to your local disc golf shop, disc golf store, uh, disc golf course, and have some fun. And, of course, we cannot forget about my boy Chris's disc golf shop located in Midland, Michigan, in the Eastman Plaza. That is my sponsor. So, hashtag holla at your boy.